are you aware that portable sawmills did not always exist? That's right. Men, women, and their children entered the woods armed with nothing but axes. Then they decided they needed some cant hooks for rolling the logs over. And they may have some tools with them. Those tools would help them decide how many cuts they could get out of a timber by figuring it on the smallest diameter side. And I'm sure they wouldn't waste the time to cut out a little round like that. They would just draw it on the log where it laid. Now this tree was killed by beetles and it was leaning really, really hard. So I went ahead and took her on down this morning and I'm going to do a small video of well, a short video, probably. And the only thing I'm going to use is I'm going to use an old burn stick. A chalk line, which can also be used as a plumb bob. And instead of using an axe or a rip saw, I'm going to use my little steel wood boss. Now the M5251 from Steel has been working really good for me. I'm really liking it. So I'm going to get over here and I'm going to pull some lines on this and uh, let you see what I'm going to do to saw out some planks. Now because of the way I'm going with this, I'm going to pull my first mark at center from end of the log to end of the log because I'm only going to get uh, four six by sixes out of this and I think three two by fours by cutting this log by hand and it is long enough that I can use it for cribbing up boats now the reason I want center is my cuts are all going to be ran at a level cut so I'm going to start at the center and I'm going to move over to the to the edge. Well, you'll see. bit of the sawdust off of it from the beetles. Just debarked it. See if we can get her a clean strip on here. It's important when you pull the string 
that you pull it up and you don't pull it to either side or your cup won't be straight. Now I'm just going to make a faint chase mark with chainsaw up the black stripe. Now I'll show you why I'm not just going to split it in half with the first cut, but I'm actually going to take a portion six inches from the center off of the south side, which is the way the trigger on the chainsaw is facing now. It'll have a little rounded corner on this side over here. That's okay. I'm only using these for rough stuff. I'm not doing finished carpentry with it. It'll give me enough meat to uh, crib up some vessels. Okay, so my next line is going to go from right here all the way down. The only problem is the string won't hang on there. string will hang on that. And that gives you a little notch to lock your string tip in and pull your string out so that you can pop a line.
And once again, now that I've got the string stretched across the log on length, be sure you pop it so that the line comes straight down toward your line, not in toward the side of the log and not away from the log. You want to come straight down on that line. That way you've got a straight line on the edge of what's going to be your board to follow. If not, you'll have wavy board. Pulled it too tight. Now the old way it was done was they used a charcoal stick and they put their line down and they would black the line. That gives you a very thick, definite line to follow. When you're in the woods, there is an abundance of your cleanup brush piles of wood to burn to make a chalk line like this, or your straight line. Speaking of such, if it was not windy today, I would actually have a cleanup fire going. Okay, so.
And I do give the chainsaw a break every couple minutes and just let it run. And then I go back to cutting. It keeps it from overheating. 